excited today to bring you another very cool fish. And this is another very uncommon fish. I don't think it's kept by nearly enough people in the hobby, and it's entirely way too underrated. It's so cool. We're going to be looking at a cichlid from Lake Malawi. But one of the really neat features of this fish is it looks and behaves a lot more like a Victorian. So we're going to check it out. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you learn a little something. And really, I hope you consider keeping these fish yourself in the future. Let's go. Let's first talk about the different variations you might find out there. This is a pretty rare species, but there are places that sell it, and later I'll share with you my recommendations on where you can buy this fish. But when you do find them, you're probably going to be looking at one of two variations. The regular Estatotilapia calyptera has a more green body, but there's also the Chizumulu blue variety, which is what I have, and that's what you're looking at here, with the more blue body. Try saying Chizumulu blue five times fast. Chizumulu blue, Chizumulu blue, Chizumulu... Yeah, I can't do it. Even within a single variation, the degree of blue and green coloration can vary from fish to fish. Or even day to day, this is a species that I've noticed to have a much wider fluctuation of color depending on their mood. However, the females are pretty much always gray. Here's some video of my two males arguing over a girl, and I think it's a great illustration of the breadth of colors you can expect. On that note, these fish can be very aggressive and territorial, so I do recommend maintaining a ratio of one male to three females and making sure that each male has some space that he can claim as his own. That guidance is pretty common for most cichlids, though I tend to be not as strict with it with many of the species that I keep. You usually have more leeway than you might expect, but with this species, even I think it's a necessity in order to keep aggression down and make sure that your fish are really thriving. But let's talk a little bit about the care requirements for this fish. As usual, I'm not going to just rattle off a bunch of facts or figures that you can just find online, but rather I'm going to share with you how I've kept this species and what I feel like has led to my success with them. I keep these fish in pretty hard water with a high pH, but that's not necessarily intentional. My water is pretty much liquid rock straight out of the tap. And it works out because most sources would tell you that's what these fish require because they are a Malawian cichlid. But in my experience, these fish are very hardy. So I could totally see them doing all right in lower pHs or hardness levels as long as you keep them consistent. As for temperature, I've kept them anywhere between 74 up to 79 degrees and they do quite all right. But one aspect that is crucial is the tank size. And this ties back to the territoriality, territoriality, the, the aggression that we talked about before. And a bigger tank really helps with that. I keep my group of two males and six females in a 75 gallon. They could probably do okay in a 55 gallon, but anything smaller than that and you're asking for trouble. I think in this 75 gallon, we could even have a third male and be fine. As far as food goes, these guys are not picky. I feed mine a mix of extreme pellets and hikari pellets and viber bites, and they love it. They just gobble it all up. Something else to think about if you plan on keeping this fish is the substrate color. This isn't really a care requirement, but more of an aesthetic choice. I've kept them on both white and black sand, and I found that on the white sand, the blue colors really pop. But if you're a bigger fan of green, that appears more vibrant against the black. So it really comes down to what you prefer and how you want to keep them. <music> Lastly, let's talk about some breeding tips. These guys are Malawian cichlids, so they're not exactly the hardest thing in the world to breed. It really just comes back to the aggression factor that we've already spoken about. And if you have 
three to four females per one male, you'll eventually end up with fry. It just comes down to keeping any one female from getting too beat up on. Beyond that, it's the same tips that would apply to any fish. Feed them a varied diet with some high quality foods and just keep up with your water quality and they'll get there eventually. Well, that's about all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed learning about this really awesome fish. It's such a cool species and should really be more represented in the hobby, in my opinion. If you're interested in keeping this species, I recommend checking out Dave's Rare Aquarium Fish at davesfish.com. This is not sponsored at all. I have no affiliation with them. I am just a happy customer who is also a big fan of the fish that they have to offer. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take it easy, and I can't wait to see you next time.